Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. This is day five of the uh, Walking with Tak module in using the perfect cooking system in creating meals using the same prep that we make in the beginning of the week. Uh, one of the main attributes of my perfect cooking system is efficiency. To be able to cook a multi-course meal all from scratch using fresh and unprocessed ingredients in less than 30 minutes. Uh, in this video, we're going to do a, a two-course meal uh, in creating dishes using the same theme as we have been doing in the past four days. Uh, the first dish is chicken with asparagus and tomatoes. And the second dish is a broccoli medley with four other kinds of vegetables. Uh, this meal is served with pasta, fulfilling the fusion attributes of the perfect cooking system. Uh, I cook one pound of uh, regular spaghetti noodles in a wok in advance and store them in plastic containers in the fridge. Uh, I will use half of it in this meal and I will use the other half for another meal tomorrow. Uh, I put 8 ounces of chicken in a bowl of water to thaw as soon as I enter the kitchen. Next, I took out all the preps for cooking these meals. I am ready to start. Uh, the first dish I cook is the chicken dish and it takes about 4 minutes. Uh, I saute 1 tablespoon of garlic in canola oil before adding 8 oz of chicken. Uh, I stir fry the chicken rapidly to ensure the pieces are evenly cooked. Uh, I then add 1 quarter cup of thinly sliced onions, followed by stirring and mixing. Uh, this is followed by 3 quarter cup of asparagus. I stir fry the contents for about 10 seconds. Uh, I add 3 tablespoons of water using my squeeze water bottle to steam the asparagus. Uh, I'm careful not to overcook the asparagus. I like it crispy and crunchy. Uh, one of the advantages of stir fry is the ability to able to control the cooking process during each step. Uh, I season the dish with half teaspoon of mushroom seasoning, half teaspoon of lemon pepper, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, quarter teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of onion flake, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and quarter teaspoon of ginger powder. Uh, tomatoes go in last, about 10 slices to avoid overcooking them. A few quick stir. The dish is ready. Uh, cooking time is 4 minutes. Uh, I normally cook meat separately uh, to prevent overcooking them. But in this dish, asparagus and tomatoes cook quickly, so I cook everything together. Uh, efficiency is an important part of my cooking system, and I'm always looking for ways to save time. Uh, I did not wash the wok, letting the vegetable dish to pick up some flavor from the chicken dish. I used to wash my wok each time between dishes, but I find it to be unnecessary. Uh, it has little impact on the flavor of most of the dishes that I cook. Uh, I start with 10 thin slices of carrots after sauteing 1 tablespoon of garlic. Uh, next to go in is about a half cup of red cabbage. Uh, I then add half cup of zucchini followed by a few quick stir to mix things up. Uh, this is followed by half cup of yellow squash to add color to the dish. Uh, broccoli is the last one to go in because it is most likely to burn. Uh, one could never ignore the visual aspect of food. Uh, I try to create food for both appearance as well as for flavor. Uh, I then add about quarter cup of water to steam the vegetables. Uh, how long you steam your vegetable depends on your preference of the texture. I like my vegetable crisp and crunchy for the standpoint both for taste as well as nutritionally. I always try to cook my food lightly, particularly when they are fresh, because vegetables when they're overcooked, they lost their nutritional value. I next add the seasonings, half teaspoon mushroom seasonings, quarter teaspoon lemon pepper, one teaspoon onion flakes, quarter teaspoon ginger powder, and quarter teaspoon paprika. Uh, to give the dish with a more of an Asian flavor, I add 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce. Uh, I leave more sauce in this dish to go with the pasta. The dish is ready to serve. Uh, the total cook time for this meal is only about 10 minutes. A 4 minutes for the chicken dish and 6 minutes for the vegetable dish. Uh, this is a quick meal. It takes 20 minutes from the time when I walk in the kitchen uh, to the time when dinner is served on the table. 
And one important attribute of my perfect cooking system is its flexibility. Uh, one can choose the dishes to cook depend on the time available to you. Uh, also, you can match your taste preference with the nutritional value. Now, this meal is well balanced uh, with proteins, carbohydrate, fat, and vitamins. Uh, more importantly, you know what you are putting into your body because you use all fresh and unprocessed ingredients. And for the bonus, you can put the leftover together uh, into a nutritional and delicious home-cooked lunch rather than eating fast and processed food.